green rant, some are DEI splendid, anything normal, she her offended. It puts the woke inside the game, or else it gets bad reviews again. Pronoun enforced cultural decay, Bel Air, Terrified. till you get your way. Feminist meltdown at GDC, said what about me and my HRT? Entitled and pretension unrivaled, brace your pum pum fuck high yells arrival. Woke racketeering on mistranslation, no feminism gamer celebration. Alphabet mob thanks IG and Rebecca. Woke won't stop until kids chop off their peckers. You'll have to gay it up, I'm hard of queering. Top wish list beta testers cheering. Nobody likes you. That's my confession, since Hogwarts didn't teach you a lesson. Instead of you, they down with CCCP. Heal, brother. Damaged emotionally. Race swap, retcon, fat identity. Same-sex kiss for sensitivity. Divide mudslinger, everything's tribal. Journos crying, gaming revival. Hello, beta testers. Well, if it isn't you, assholes. Like and subscribe, beta tester, to instantly be the bigger person around here. Because what you're really subscribing to are facts. You're subscribing to Kyle, a man, not a brand. I'm gonna step over the cold corpse of multiple dumbass know-nothings in the gaming industry desperately willing to debunk information with no proof to address how inevitable the Wukong outrage from perpetually triggered who apparently equate not being able to talk about feminism in their video game review to censorship of the highest order. A reminder, beta tester, the rat racketeering you've witnessed from the woke cult of activists calling themselves games journalists starting with IGN's Rebecca Valentine incorrectly translating and conflating irrelevant and harmless remarks to sexism, something channels like mine, Asmund Gold, and recently even Chinese channels signal boosted by grooms attest to, but you already knew it to be an exaggeration because for months I told you how Hogwarts legacy this was going to get. I had the awareness to warn them, understanding that they'd be forced to rage and stupid bait to get anybody interested in their raggedy newspaper of a publication, that if they pushed too hard in the review bombing category, that it would backfire, something that I do believe that IGN understood. <laughs> Q screen rants, Samar uh, Abudi Abudai. Forgive, I can't help myself. My favorite white YouTubers always make a unfunny bit out of mispronouncing somebody's name because the joke is that they're different. And if you think I'm joking, remember what I just said, how everybody seems to always need to make a bit out of mispronouncing somebody's word. Imagine if that bothered you and how often you're going to realize that it happens from now on. But the joke to them, is that they're different, <laughs> which is like hilarious in a way, but their cheek is harmless. Screen rant writer Samara, with barely any game reviews to she, her's name, might I add, fully intended with her racist ass to impose her backwater yokel fucking interpretation of surface level college brochure diversity that she was mad wasn't injected into the goddamn mythical monkey game, you know what I'm saying? Because she looks at things and all she can do is inject herself, see herself, ooh, with your woke political message, yeah. Jesus Lord. What a Disney. As it turns out, after she published the dog shit take that we all celebrate her right to be able to put out there and waste our time with, people uncovered that she worked for a similar sensitivity consultancy as Sweet Baby Inc. that's pushing that DEI bullshit called Splendid. Hmm. Exactly the kind of polarizing, lazy, race and gender swap garbage that's killed countless disingenuous properties operating under the assumption that maybe if we make all the characters black, fat, fat, ugly, pierced nose, fucked up haircut, mental issues, maybe the IP that we're forced to attach it to will draw the audience something they already understand that they have to do because nobody's interested. So, of course, after dropping their turd, the entity has their name scrubbed from the article, and the LinkedIn is memory hold as if the damage on behalf of the racket fully supporting her hasn't already been done. And it's, it's done to yourself. You, you stepped on another rake when we all said, hey, they're all around you, Sideshow. Don't step on them damn rakes. And you said, nobody tells me what to f- Ow! Oh, why are you doing this?
happens to me? Ow, the patriarchy! Out of the kindness of my heart, I leaned across the aisle in my devotion to the truth with my awareness of how to track because of the haters up my ass. But you didn't really fucking listen as usual, you know what I mean? I did the same thing with Hogwarts. The way that, that you were choosing to be is what's making people despise you profoundly enough to make this, uh, I'm just gonna do it because it seems to piss these people off. You're presenting yourself uh, for the teabag, if you will, to coin gaming vernacular, if you understand the reference. You, you ever heard of teabagging before? You know, you ever heard of a game called Halo? It's it's dead now. I mean, these are, you know, I'm so old. Damn. Yeah, I guess. I, I don't know. I, what, is there a is there a has-been hotel reference, the, a Steven Universe thing that would kind of, somebody write it in the comment section for me. I'm, I'm out of touch. I can't uh, reach these people on their fucking terms. Following recent developments, righteousness is kind of what's going to have people feeling like they're just giving the studio a break in the midst of all of the Hogwarts boycott stuff that they have to do with anything. Because if they can't brainwash everybody with every kind of media, then it's not good. And it should be rated poorly, because how dare they not bow down to kiss the ring pops that you hope will normally attract kids so you can brainwash them into chop chop, am I right? Gamers already catapulted Wukong to the top of Steam's wishlist, not just because it looked good, but because y'all want to talk about bugs, but everybody already knows no matter what issues it has, it's not going to be worse than Cyberpunk's, which you rated higher. IGN's Rebecca was so ass-blasted and obnoxious, the entity genuinely believed she herself entitled to a response to allegations they made up over a mistranslation of another language? Hilarious in an industry of sweet baby ink games like Spider-Man 2, where developers like Brian Intihar consider them themselves able to rewrite another culture's language because they're on the right side of history pushing for their new normal for a modern audience or whatever their cult calls self-inserting. You gotta give them what you know they want so you can inject it, right? Give people stuff you know they want so you can inject things yeah. that maybe they aren't familiar with or maybe they don't know they want but make them like that stuff. Right, 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 right. Seeing yourself to these clowns, half of which suck SBI and some of which are currently working on Cuck Panther desperately need you to believe their new definition of racism. How amusing that Paul Tassi of Forbes, who they'll believe when Destiny Boy couldn't have less credibility among any gamer paying attention. I'm not demanding you believe me, but homie believes that 400,000 people interested in DEI detected? Nah, that's useless information. Homie believes that a swimsuit equals nudity because again, first descendant is not queer enough for him, and therefore it is not valid. 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 valid, valid, valid. Wasn't this the guy going to bat for the asshole violating NDA because he thinks 20,000 people playing a video game makes it news? So 20,000 is news, but 90,000 signing a petition for, uh, you know, censorship, which y'all suddenly give a motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Suck my balls. Hogwarts Legacy Stellar Blade First Descendant, especially the discrepancy between industry coverage of eye roll worthy dog shit like Concord versus a game millions are interested in like Mecha Break is telling because of the hypocrisy that we keep trying to, you know, show people and then y'all show them instead of us and we go damn mother we throw our hands up like damn nigga you know what i'm saying you doing it for us okay bitch damn we don't even you took our job they took our job forgive me for not caring as much about the opinions of losers that got the please talk to me energy just seeping out they butthole addicted to likes pressing the pay elon and pay jk rowling button every goddamn day boy as long as they get those likes those scratches you know what i'm saying path of exile 2 black myth wukong Hogwarts Legacy 2, Azure Promelia, Mecha Break, Project Mugen, The First Descendant. For a while, probably Marvel Rivals, you know, whatever MiHoYo game is going to be slipping right onto people. Inzoi. And maybe for, for some reason, Fortnite gets competition enough to kick it into gear, make some dedicated deathmatch modes or some shit like that. I could endlessly name games, none of which are the types that the woke cult would want to discuss because growth does not benefit them. They fat enough, shit. In fact, 
Incorporating the kinds of things that other games would demand mods before being able to achieve if you were to subscribe to the ideology of certain trans journalists who have very strict and politically charged beliefs on how you should be able to mod women and if they think they're too pretty then you should not be able to do that. Mm -hmm. The difference between experiences that demand people's money and time will boil down to a question as simple as which one serves, which harmless outlet that people deserve serves. The differences between Lord of the Rings and Rings of Power, the differences between what people actually want and what you're trying to force this mythical modern audience to tolerate and th because that will challenge their standard and then they'll change. Jesus Christ, people hate your lazy pandering no matter how hard you try to call it diverse and spin it because just because you imply that everybody's a bigot because they don't like it or everybody's hostile nigga. Scared of what a real woman looks like? See, you were better when you were a woman they say to the the doctor and doctor who but they wouldn't say that to the stunning and brave black and gay doctor who really need to remind you of the significance of a black and gay doctor his doctor is going to beat his enemies with twerking no he really says that so in between drag race people being on the show and an apathetic audience leading to the show receiving its lowest ratings in 60 years i'm sure something else is the reason you know what i mean not all this forced identity politics bullshit that's losing everybody motherfucking millions you know what i mean if you made it this far like the video thank you for being on this journey and pushing and educating and informing beta tester we and china right now are having a legolas gimli moment i will be buying this game if only as a middle finger to the types of people who think they have control over everything i guess i'll see when i play it tonight and you're free to join me man with my old playstation Links in the description. Special thanks to the patrons and sponsors. I can't get enough of you big titty beta testers, so stay out of trouble.